Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of The Den. It's Pride, I'm drunk, I'm about to butcher this chicken. <laughs> everybody, welcome to another week here on The Den. So, it's been a while since I cooked, uh, but I realized as we were out drinking during unofficial Pride in Toronto that I had food prep that I had to do when we got home. So here I am after a few drinks and having another one. Um, we are gonna butcher a chicken that I won't show on camera just because it is pretty gruesome and we do have a vegan audience who may not be enjoy that part of the process. So. We'll do that, and then I'm going to show you how to do a quick marinade for an adobo, and then we'll show you the fry process. That's tomorrow. All right, so uh, we're going into the next part of this here. So I've actually already taken care of the chicken itself. Um, I know it's kind of gross to see, but you know what? <laughs> I do apologize because uh, this is the dish that I did intend to make, but we mostly would try to keep like, more healthier options available in the house. Now, yes, I am wearing my leather because we were out for pride tonight and I am definitely feeling this. Uh, I'm sorry, I've been uh, into the sauce a little bit. So what we're doing next is we're kind of adding our next ingredients. So we were talking to a friend of ours, the ingredients call for white, uh, white chili vinegar. What we decided to do instead is mix rice wine vinegar and chili. So that's the first ingredient we're gonna put, put in here. So let's get everything picked out here. So the first thing we're gonna do is about a half cup of rice wine vinegar with chilies in it. These chilies, like normally you would you'd think that they were pretty hot, but no, these ones are actually a nice mild taste. And we're gonna do a quarter cup of soy sauce. Our preferred brand is Kikaman that we use in the household. Um, there is a video that we did where Steve and, and a friend made, his, made their own soy sauce. And um, we are, it's almost ready. Um, should be ready within the next couple of months. So we're gonna throw in a few bay leaves in here as well. And we're gonna mince some garlic. Just to throw in here. Now the recipe calls to crush and slice, but our friend recommended that we just mince them. that we just mince is fine and may actually get the flavor out a bit more than just the soaked crushed garlic. And we're not saying anything that we're doing here is authentic. This is very much our interpretation of, of adobo and we would like your own interpretations as well. This has become a favorite dish that I've been making at potlucks and whatnot. So kind of like stuck with it and people said it tasted pretty authentic. So we kind of kept going with it. This is our marinade right here. And we also put whole peppercorns in there. They've gotta be whole. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our individual pieces in there. I've got this cut as an eight piece. I know it's not gonna fill up the whole thing, but once we shake it up a bit, it's gonna be able to soak up all the flavors. airtight lid and we're just gonna move all this around in there and we're gonna let this marinate overnight and then we're gonna do the flash fry and everything else as of tomorrow so this is it for step one two and a few other steps and we will show you the actual cook process tomorrow all right everybody so we're on the next day I'm much more sober and a little bit more hungover and we are gonna do the last bits of the process here so Steve's actually making braised daikon right now to go as a side with this, as well as we're gonna serve that with rice and a bean sprout kind of, you said bean sprout curry? No, bean sprout salad. Bean sprout salad, close enough. All right, so next I'm just gonna get everything. Yeah, 
hope it does not fall out of the fridge as I'm getting it. This has been marinating for about the last 18 hours. So the way we are going to do this, it's going to be skin side down. And then we're going to saute everything in the sauces and bring it to a boil. So I'm just gonna make sure that everything is kind of even in here. Bring this down. So make sure kind of everything, the sauce is even there. We're gonna bring that to a boil, and then we're gonna sit and simmer it for a while. Okay, so now what we're doing is that it's brought to a boil. We're gonna let it simmer covered, and this is gonna happen for about the next 20 minutes. So then we're going to just going to work on some other projects until that it until that happens. All right. So the next part we're going to do is we're just going to lift the lid and then we're going to just going to flip the chicken and we're going to let it simmer for about another 10 more minutes. Right now, the smell that is coming out of here is absolutely wonderful. Right, Steve? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bear approves. Oh yeah. Make my mouth water. <laughs> Now, usually the recipe they recommend to do this completely with chicken thighs, but I had a whole chicken to use, so that's why I went this route. But it should still work with the white meat. That's why we did more of the marinating overnight, as opposed to just like kind of make the sauce a quick fry. But anyways, this will go simmer for another, covered for another 10 minutes. Try not to burn myself while grabbing this lid, and yeah, we just gotta let this go for another few minutes. All right, so now all the slow simmering is done. And I slowly put that down over here. All we need to do at this point is turn the heat back up. We're gonna fry everything and reduce the sauce down to about half to thicken everything up. So I'm just gonna turn everything again. And we do this last part is just done completely uncovered. All right. And soon we'll be back to finish up everything else. And there you have here the finished product. It just smells so exquisite. And there's uh, the radishes that he made as well as a bean sprout salad. And Pride Rose, hi Steve. Hello. Bon appetit, bitches. Yes, so thank you all for watching our video. Steve, you got anything to say? Happy Pride. Happy Pride. And Greg will have a haircut as of next week. So those of you who have been wanting to see it. <laughs> it's happening. It's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bye everybody.